Hello and uh, welcome to the Computer Lab Vids uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this video is on how to remove and refit uh, a keyboard from the Lenovo E531. Uh, there is some other models as well that uh, fit very similar to this so obviously if yours looks similar it might be worth just a look and just watch this video. So I'm just starting with the keyboard out of the laptop uh, just to show you how the actual mechanism works uh, and you see me just pointing with a screwdriver here to the uh, small indentations on the black uh, plastic slider just on the top of the actual uh, keyboard here uh, and you can see these one uh, when it's mounted into the actual laptop frame so what we need to do uh, we need to push this slide this black plastic sort of towards the screen when it's mounted in the um, actually in the laptop itself and this is to remove the actual um, keyboard so I'm just showing you with a screwdriver just because it's easier really um, just to try and focus with the camera whilst I show you. So you see what I'm pushing against there, you can see the gap start to open uh, just at the top of the keys. Um, so we need to do this because there's some screws holding the actual uh, keyboard into the main frame. So you need uh, obviously a pry tool, um, anything really, just to open the actual gap up. So you can see I'm just holding there with a screwdriver, keeping against the bottom frame and then sort of tweaking it just so it pushes this black sliding um, like cover plate upwards um, and if you're trying to do this obviously whilst it's mounted in the actual laptop uh, you can work your way along and just see if you can get it to move um, the particular laptop that I'm going to show in the video I'm working on it's actually been spilt on uh, with something sticky so this actual frame is stuck and I can't actually get to do this one uh, while it's mounted in the frame so I have to actually try and pry it out which I will show you how to do as well just so not to damage the actual laptop but again just work with your pry tool along this edge and you can see once you've got the actual uh, black top slider in position it, the gap above all the keys will open up um, and also the tabs will come away from the bottom which hold it into the bottom of the main frame which again will become more apparent when I show you actual in the laptop but if you see there the tabs along the bottom edge they're all now in line with the metal frames so this black plastic is pushed up uh, and that's what also made the little tabs there go into line with the actual metal frame and then this exposes the screws there so one on the caps lock there and there's one on the F key there another one on the J key and the also one down there on the colon key um, now yours might have a couple more screws some of the other models do but this one only has four uh, and again if you look along the top edge you can see this black slider it's um, you can see the gap between the actual main keyboard frame and the black sliding locking plate uh, while it's pushed in that position okay so now I need to uh, get the actual thing out if um, yours is stuck like this particular model is um, like I said it's had a spillage on it so the actual sliding black thing uh, locking plate um, is stuck so I've basically got to work my way along the keyboard and just trying to get it to move uh, and try and get these tabs clear of the um, the main frame itself so I have speeded this video up um, just along here um, just so you can see me just trying to work away along and it's I've got a plastic uh, pry tool here not to damage the main frame and I'm just working along you see the little uh, indent there that's the sliding bit um, of the main frame so I'm just working away along the frame again anywhere where there's a tab I'm sort of trying to work away um, and here it's really stuck so I end up I think with uh, two of the uh, plastic uh, pry tools in here just to try and get things moving and I'm just trying to push the actual um, keyboard up into the uh, towards the actual screen so again just skip a bit there just because all it is is me just going along this edge being very patient really because we don't want to damage anything and just working with the pry tools uh, obviously once you start getting a bit of a gap uh, to open on the bottom if you can get the tabs clear which you can see there their tabs are visible now so I've actually popped them out um, so I can actually get the uh, pry tool in along the um, underside of the actual keyboard that this the old keyboard which I need to get out so I'm starting now to get it to get it loose so I can get the pry tool uh, move it along make sure everything's popped up along this front uh, edge here uh, making sure I can get to the uh, screws which I'm going to in a minute so now I've got it um, sort of clear of this back edge got the tabs out but now I need to get the screws so there I'm just trying to move this the sliding frame now I'm just trying to get it to expose the screws a little bit so I'm just pulling it towards me um, 
just to get the gap to open slightly. Um, so I've got it to open enough now where I can actually get to the screws. Uh, so I can actually get the um, keyboard out of the frame, the main laptop. So this is me just black um, the small plastic pry tool just to make a gap big enough for my uh, Phillips screwdriver and just unscrew the four screws on the keyboard. Again, obviously if yours has got more screws in, just be very careful, just give it a, a little wiggle just to see if it stops. Um, you see there, one of the, find all of the caps key um, and now we're exposed so we can get to the cables. So I'll pop the cables off. Um, now here's the four screws that I've just undone uh, through the by exposing the gap on the uh, keys. So the ones in red are the four screws that's on this particular model. Yours might have two more where the yellow circles are there. Again, like I said, when you're unscrewing it, just be careful that um, yours might have them two screw, extra screws. So this is the underside of the new keyboard. Again, the circles in red, these are the four screws that I need. Now this particular keyboard um, is the um, one that's suited to other models as well. So it has two extra screws. Um, in the actual base plate just to the left. Obviously this is upside down so uh, there were, these two are on the right when I put it into the actual laptop frame. So I need to get rid of these two uh, yellow screws. They're held on with a small uh, C-clip. I've already removed that one in yellow there. I'm just going for this just to show you how to get this out. Too fine. I'm using a standard knife just to pop the C-clip off uh, off the two very fine C-clips and they just hang on around the screws, um, around the knuckle just at the end of the screws there. Uh, once you pop both C-clips off, they just drop out the keyboard. And then you're ready to uh, fit the um, the new keyboard in. So that if it's um, an official keyboard, which this one is, it should have the blue uh, protective strip here uh, with a black rubber um, like holding um, rubber band really, which sits along the top of this uh, the black sliding frame which I showed you at the beginning of the video and this stops it going into the lock position whilst it's in transit and whilst you um, get ready to fit it. So don't throw this away just yet because we're going to use that rubber strip in a second just to help fit the uh, keyboard so just put that to one side. Okay so the new keyboard is in the unlocked position at the moment so you can see the uh, main bottom base plate metal plate is um, and the top black sliding plate are in line. Uh, so the black little tabs there sitting along the edge of the metal frame. So using your um, snips, just snip off a small section of the rubber strip, which um, you just pulled off. And here we're gonna wedge these just into the bottom of the actual keyboard, just to stop the um, locking mechanism going into position uh, whilst we uh, get the actual keyboard into the frame. If you don't put these in, the actual top slider, the locking sliding plate can actually move down whilst you're trying to position the keyboard. Um, and obviously some of these sometimes just takes a bit of um, maneuvering just to get into position. So cut another strip off again. Uh, and I usually just use two, so I'll put one in either side. Uh, it's enough just to hold it while uh, you uh, maneuver and um, get things in position in the main frame. So I'll just push these into, they're exactly the right size, because obviously it's just come out the top section, so they fit perfectly. Uh, leave them just dangling out so you can get to them um, when you need to pull them out in a second once you've got everything into position. So you can see I've just left the edge hanging loose, um, but you can see where it sits in between the actual top sliding plate and the um, metal um, holding plate which screws to the, to the main uh, laptop frame. So you're sliding underneath the ledge nearest to the uh, screen and once it's tucked under there you will feel a slight spring on it because in the center usually um, the middle of some of the F keys um, where the uh, top slider is that will just push up against um, the inside of the keys but don't worry about that we're trying to keep this gap in, marked in yellow there all the time so we can get to the screws so now I'm happy that I'm sort of relatively in position start to uh, work my way along uh, the screws here and all the time keeping an eye on and making sure that rubber strip's still in place indicated by the green arrow there so we'll just do the four screws again yours might have a couple more screws sort of nearer um, to the uh, number pad on this side uh, but just go along the screws that you need to tighten up make sure you don't over tighten them just nip them up uh, and once you're happy that um, we're in position we then need to make sure that uh, the tabs uh, nearer to the mouse pad are sort of in and pushed down. 
and ready to be locked in. So this is where we're going to slide the locking plate towards um, the mouse pad, sort of away from the uh, LCD screen. So make sure the tabs are in place. Um, again, just use your pry tool just to push it down, uh, just to make sure it's in. Don't force it. If you're forcing it, there's something gone wrong somewhere and it's just not quite sitting right. So double check everything. And once you're happy, you can pull the uh, rubber spacers out that you've placed in. And once the rubber spacers come out, then that leaves the um, top sliding locking plate to push into, uh, push into position. So obviously pull the two out, make sure that the tabs are then pushed, sort of lined up. And then using a plastic prior tool, so we don't want to damage anything, we just need to put it into the small indentation and pull towards the um, trackpad and yourself. So on each of the indentations, there's three on this particular one, just keep pulling and making sure it's going into position, just working your way along, because you're pulling away. Uh, and this also makes the keys, um, if you don't pull it in position correctly, the keys won't actually move up and down in the full stroke. So you need to make sure that everything's fully uh, lined up here and this is pulled up right up against the bottom of the screen okay so thank you very much for watching uh, my channel and if this video has helped please give us a thumbs up or leave me a comment below or please do subscribe um, if you'd like to see more hints tips and how-to videos